what's going on ninjas what is going on hope all you ninjas are doing good on this beautiful but yet super hot thirsty thursday right yep. we just finished with this school right here and it is a hot one but wanted to show you a couple of things one went ahead and stopped and picked up a new trimmer line this is the well what is it husqvarna pro x titanium x pro okay and we ran out <clears throat> used up all the piranha line from green touch and a little bit of uh echo black diamond which absolutely sucked but we went ahead and used it all up so i went ahead and picked this up what do you think of it of it so far uh, busy b uh, I'm liking it so far. are you liking it yeah okay we did go with the 105 instead of the 0.95 so uh I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but Busy Bee seems to like it. So anyway, I will give you more of an update on that and a review once we fully get a chance to use it and I end up getting a chance to use it and go from there. But another thing I wanted to point out, I don't know what it is with all these mowers. Okay, so this is actually fixed now. Is it yeah, so I filled this tank up and as I was filling it up, the dial was probably somewhere about right here. And as I was filling it up, the dial kept going this way and it went all the way down here. Now, this is where it's supposed to be all the way empty. And now it's actually full. So I guess I just needed to mow with it and uh, rattle it up in there a little bit for it to get adjusted. But it's already telling me that, you know, this thing is acting funky. But it's not the only one this one i've got a new one being sent to me as you can see it's got it's not even reading correctly and it's leaking and when i think when i washed the mower last weekend it even fogged up it seems like all mowers just have an issue with the fuel gauge yeah the fuel gauges because they all eventually uh, break or allow water air in it you know it's just i don't know i've even had issues with ferris um, this is not the first bumblebee that i've had issues with and now the spartan it's working now but earlier like i said as i was filling it up it was going backwards so we'll see if it uh is a one-time occurrence or if it actually becomes an issue but we're done it is so hot are you glad we're done with this one yes i am i am too man this this one uh I saved you a little bit of weed eating, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, over here in this corner, I was actually, uh, I jumped on the bumblebee and I hopped that, hopped that ditch there, so to say. Yeah, I <laughs> and I got I got in there and saved Busy Bee a little bit of uh, on the weed eating. But all right, we're off to the next one, but I just want to start the video and say hope uh, all you ninjas are doing good and having a good day. And um, yeah, we had a good day yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, it was hot. Good. It was hot. I don't think it's going to be hotter today, though. You think so? And then maybe even tomorrow? It is going to be hot tomorrow. Well, I, from what, 105 with humidity? Isn't that what you told me? Yeah, that's what my girlfriend told me. Okay, so I haven't looked, but I believe it. I believe it. With humidity, I believe it. So This is a very special yard to me, actually, just because when I started my business, this is the very first yard that I ever got as I was walking around different neighborhoods and throwing out a bunch of flyers and just trying to get my name out there so I can pick up some business and this gentleman called me he was the very first one and at that time I had no idea how to quote I didn't know anything okay I knew how to cut grass but I didn't know how to quote I didn't I was still learning as far as what it really took to run a business and especially in the quoting aspect category which I know a lot of us are struggling with that in general but as you do it longer and, and more you get better at it um, dust so when I quoted him I didn't know which yard it was I mean I walked around through flyers everywhere so when I when he called me I told him I'd come out and look at it so I did and I told him a price he agreed I didn't think anything of it I didn't sense any kind of mood maybe that he was not happy with the price or anything like that I just said okay cool awesome I was super excited just the fact that I even got one yard and we we did it i did it and knocked it out and so i said hey you know want me to put you on an ongoing schedule every two weeks he goes yeah i think that sounds pretty good yeah sure 
Okay, so while two weeks comes around, and I call him to let him know that I'll be there, and he says, no, I think I'm gonna pass. And I asked him, I said, if you don't mind me asking why, was it the service? I just, I'm just new into this business. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, and if it's something that I did, or, you know, I'd like to know, so that way I don't repeat that same mistake. And uh, he said, I just felt like last time the price was a little too high. And I said, well, where do you think, you know, you would be comfortable with as far as price wise? And he kind of gave me his price. And I kind of said, can we just meet a little bit between his price and my price somewhere in the middle? And he said, you know what, that, that sounds good. And I've never ever since had an issue with this customer slash actually, again, I consider most of my customers friends. So he's a very good guy. And, and, and then just not to mention the last couple of years, he's actually raised the price on his own, not me asking for it. Instead, he would just, the new season would start and all of a sudden I look at the checks and it's higher five bucks, for example. So that, you know, much respect, I uh, just amazing. But besides that, I just have a special connection with this yard and whether I end up losing this account down the road or something, you know, it doesn't matter. Anytime I drive by here, I'm always gonna think of this yard. It's just the very first yard. It's what started saving green. Is that a touching story or is that a touching story? Yeah, I'd say it is. Really, dude? <laughs> On <laughs> How dare you, man? I can't help it. <laughs> but anyway, before we get started, have you ever had, and I know this has happened to me now several times throughout the last couple of years, but have you ever had some previous employees texting you out of the blue? Not even texting you to check in to say, Hey, how you doing, Nick? How's it going? How's the season been? Have you been able to have some help? How were your pancakes this morning? Things like that. Nothing. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> None of that, but instead they go straight to the business and uh, feel like that it's okay just to pick up, I guess, where they left off. I don't know. And I have even no problem with that if they left in a proper, respectful way. But when you leave in a way of... Uh, it's unacceptable or it's super disrespectful, no communication or anything of that nature where you burn the bridge. I mean, I'm not gonna just pick up and text with you like everything is cool. I mean, you've moved on, I've moved on. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this text to you and I want you to ninjas to try to figure out, including you Busy because I know you've been watching the videos for a while, uh, but don't say it, okay? And he does not know. But I want you ninjas to comment down below and let me know who you think. I just, I just, I think it'll be funny and interesting. Who you think it could be. And if you give me the name of who you think it could be, give me an explanation of why you think it's that person, okay? <laughs> you ready? This is such and such. You wouldn't know anybody interested in a 30 inch Toro Time Master mower, would you? I got stiffed seventeen hundred dollars on on check on my check three weeks ago, and everybody else that mowed at this company as well. This will cover half my check. Tell me your life story again, man. But who do you think it is? Now you know, you know ninjas better. You know I'm not responding to that text. I'm not. I have no interest to carry conversations with certain individuals once we're done we're done we're done <laughs> i don't know why you're rubbing that chin so much <laughs> looks like we're about to get some rain here this customer came out and asked us if we could just weed eat for her their weed eater went down just for today and Busy Bee over here looks like a lost little puppy. He's like, oh, I've never done that property. How do I do it? You hear that Thunder Ninjas? It looks mean. So in a situation like this, as you can hear, hopefully you can hear, I know we can, when the rain is just around the corner and uh, we got three, four houses in here, I do one house at a time and fully complete it. So normally if it's a nice day, you know, we'll both be mowing and then he'll start on the weed eating and then that way we'll just blow off all of it at the same time. But you don't want to be caught in the rain and then 
you're half done with that yard, you're done with this yard, you still need to blow off all the yards and you just, it's a big mess. And if you, if the rain comes in really bad and you have no choice and you're forced to leave, can you imagine leaving it like that? So what I do is I do literally one house at a time when it rains or when it's about to rain like this. quickly ninjas just want to show you that the spartan actually does a really good job at striping if you have stripable yards and as i've said before many of my yards are just not stripable but it stripes really nice really nice there's just a bunch of roots through here but it does a really good job I don't think I'm gonna record the back because it's, I hope it misses us. Looking at the map, it's saying where we are currently that it's supposed to go around us, but I don't, I don't trust that. That looks mean. Well, the rain got us. Did it not, Busy B? Yep. Look at you. Every time it rains, he looks like a little wet doggy. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's eased off a little bit, but it's still coming down. I mean, you can tell. I'm able to open my window, I mean, still coming down but I think uh, we've been in the truck now for about 15 minutes or so and I think this is doable I don't think it'll completely stop but we need to keep moving so again when you're in a situation like this ninjas you got a decision to make you know do you call it quits or do you kind of wait for a little bit and see what it does and and you know in this in this business I've said it before the weather is your friend or your enemy and you got to just make that decision as you go but i was just telling busy b uh, i think we need to go ahead and pick back up and you know it's we're, we're gonna get a little wet busy b and uh the yard's gonna have to be done a little bit slower and it's gonna take a little longer to blow everything off but yeah you just keep moving well we just finished these two the rain stopped the sun is out and the mower is a mess figure i'll show you real quickly here I'll wait till Busy B parks the Bumblebee. Take a look at the damage here. It's pretty bad. What's the word I use? She is dirty. Moist. She is indeed. She's going to need another bath show you underneath here how much I can show you let's see look at that mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. it's just part of it busy bee it's a wrap just got home got everything uh done for today busy bee just left and i wanted to conclude this video for you ninjas didn't get as much mowing in as i originally planned because that rain really kind of messed us up whatever we don't get to tomorrow we're gonna work sunday because we are taking off saturday because uh for those of you who caught the last video you'll know what i'm talking about but those of you who maybe missed it um little doc is got you know he's his funeral is on saturday and uh so i just want to dedicate really uh that day to him and i'm pretty sure we're going to be there most of the day so 
Um, and I, his mom texted me actually last night asking me to be a Paul Barrier. And so I'm, I'm honored and uh, it's not gonna be easy. So I have an opportunity that has been presented to me and I've got some decisions to make. And uh, it's a pretty big opportunity and it's a pretty big decision. Um, it involves expanding tremendously as far as my company and about 60 accounts. But we'll go more into details tomorrow. Thank you again for watching. Hope you guys had a good day. Thirsty Thursday is always thirsty because it's humid, hot, and we somehow always see a little sprinkle or two here and there. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Take care. Peace.